many days has it been? Have I overstayed my welcome in this place? What was it that ranger said? I can camp here for up to 14 days, but I can't live here for a single one. What am I supposed to do with that? I should probably be moving on before he notices I do my camping and living at the same time. It must be a special talent of mine. I must be jealous. I, I don't think I could even stop if I wanted. To not defend what little he has out here? No, I couldn't do that to myself. Like, are you a bitch, you know? He set out and he got his he got his belt off and he started to put it like through the fish, you know? And he threw, pulled it out through the gills and he was holding it, just holding it right there. In the hole sometimes. And, you know, I feel like that fish in the hole sometimes. is an organization that I founded in July after seeing uh, many people living in their cars looking for housing that wasn't available and so I saw a little camper and I went and got it and I had someone that was homeless living in it that night. Um, problems? Yeah, I've had some problems. I had somebody jack one of my campers. He, he showed up here. It was the very first camper, my very first client. He had an upside down cross in the middle of his forehead. You know, I knew his history and I just gave him a chance. I mean, Catherine is actually a really good success story. <laughs> she had a car drive through her house. So Catherine is the, the poster child for um, Happy Camper. She was going to be homeless that very day. She came over, we set her up with a camper and she's very happy. She's over in Walmart parking lot and she does not care. I mean, Shay told me any, if I ever need anything, just to give her a call. My house got run into by a car, and I lost everything. My Everything I had, my papers, just the house. I lost my pet. My one pet died. Then I, uh, I met a lady who actually was working at Econo Lodge, and uh, she told me about Happy Camper. So... That's how I found out about Happy Camper. Because I can't find anything in Gunnison. Nothing. And the new apartments, I'm signed up for the new apartments, the paintbrush, but they're still not open. To my experience and what happened and why I'm staying with Happy Camper, but it, it's I had no place to go. Because if I didn't have this place right now, I'd be staying in a car. Well, there's 76 units and over 500 applicants. This is just for housing here in Gunnison. We'll take it uh, to the next level, and hopefully that will be uh, citywide, statewide, uh, countrywide, worldwide. Yeah, it all started out well and good for the situation anyway. You know what it's like living out here? It's not easy. Fuck. I had a bunch of asshole roommates you wouldn't believe and the landlords are greedy and don't give a shit about human lives. Anyway, I did some work for her, sure. Got to know my camper inside and out, fixed it up better than I even expected. And at some point, I just had to say to myself, fuck it, this is mine. If taking it for myself didn't make me feel something incredible, 
Don't get me wrong, I've been swiped my fair share of odds and ends, fed myself no matter what, done even more for the kittens, still don't think I'm allowed back inside the fair share Walmart? Man, I have to piss. Where am I? I did this to myself as much as an elk can grow his own horns. Better than fighting it, I guess. I could go for some elk. Damn. This is a long piss. Better watch out for the pickled onions, honey. What? <laughs> Where even am I right now? I haven't felt this good in forever. I know exactly where I am and what I'm doing. I wouldn't be anything without this place. This place defines who I am on Earth and what I do defines who I am in this place. I bring light to a dark place. And that is myself. I can't remember a time apart from this home. It must be days now. I smell something. It's familiar. So so close to it now. This is what I should be doing.